hi guys this video is an update uh, to the previous video that i uh, presented on implementing the aosp android tv uh, 7.1.2 build on uh, raspberry pi 3 so that build had certain issues uh, like the inability to pay, uh, play youtube videos or uh, netflix the screen flicker issue so on and so forth so that is when i came across this uh, another build meant for raspberry pi 3 presented by uh, constrakang.com so this is an uh, lineage os uh, version 14.1 this is not an android tv build but it is an uh, tablet build meant for uh, raspberry pi 3 i'll leave the uh, links for the site in the description of this video you can uh, download the lineage os rom from this site okay so several of the users uh, got back to me uh, regarding the difficulty in uh, installing the gaps for the aosp so this time i have made the uh, gaps installation very easy for you so it is just a matter of uh, copy and pasting so like any other uh, build implementation for uh, any other uh, single board computers so even for this implementation you need a uh, linux os so as i had suggested in so many other videos of mine the linux mint is the easiest of the lot to get it uh, get it up and running and uh, you don't need any expertise to use the linux version as well so i will leave the download links for the linux mint os in the description of this video it is as easy as uh, preparing a windows bootable usb so you just burn the iso image onto an uh, usb and you have the uh, linux bootable usb ready so boot the linux mint from your uh, usb and uh, log in into the desktop so once you are uh, into the desktop download a uh, app called the etcher i will leave the download links in the description of this video so choose select image and then uh, move over to the uh, lineage rom that you just downloaded And then select your uh, micro SD card, choose continue and then flash. So once you get a success message, your uh, micro SD card will automatically get uh, ejected from the PC. Okay, so unplug the micro SD card and insert it back again. Close all the folders that open up the HR as well. Now go into the menu and choose Gparted. So once the uh, Gparted loads, choose your SD card from the options at the right top. So after that you will see a series of uh, partitions. So first choose the last active partition before the unallocated space. Right click and choose unmount. So after that, right click on the last partition again and choose resize or move. And now once you move over to the white space over here, the pointer will change to a palm like icon. So holding the white space, just move the uh, partition around so that you have a sufficient space for this data partition as well as your uh, other system partitions and other stuff. So once you are happy with the uh, sizes, choose resize for move. Choose OK. And then choose apply. The apply is like something like an uh, enter right, enter symbol. Choose apply and choose apply. Once you get the operation successfully completed message, choose close. So now uh, choose the first uh, partition before the unallocated space. Choose uh, right click and choose resize or move and drag it fully to encompass the unallocated space and choose resize or move. So we need to apply all these operations one by one. So if you try to resize both these partitions uh, in one go then you might run into some error. So after one operation is done you need to choose apply all operations and choose apply. You will get an all operations uh, completed message choose close. So sometimes what might happen is 
so after you drag uh, this post partition into the fully into the unallocated space sometimes rarely what will happen is your uh, entire uh, new partition will be formed and still you will have some kind of an unallocated space within the partition so if you see those kind of uh, so if you are into that kind of a situation right click again choose resize bring it back and then do the process again okay so there is a very rare uh, occurrence of that kind of an error so so that kind of an error is very rare so if you run into that kind of an error this is what you need to do okay so now uh, move over to the uh, next partition right click choose resize and then drag it fully and choose resize or move and apply all operations and apply is close so once this is done uh, close the gparted refresh your desktop so this time i have made the uh, gaps installation process a piece of cake so it is very easy now so there is one uh, zip file that you need to download as usual the links are there in the description of this video the zip file will be called uh, gaps.tar.gz uh, download it and then choose extract so now you will have a folder called gaps now go into the computer and open the system partition of your uh, sd card that you just wrote and then double click and open the uh, gaps folder so once you open the system partition right click and choose open as root Okay, so once you open the system partition as root, you will have a uh, red color ribbon like thing which shows a, uh, elevated privileges. Okay, so now copy the contents of the gaps folder. Select all, right click and choose copy and paste it over here. Choose apply this choose apply this action to all files and choose merge so now you have the micro sd card ready you can uh, eject the micro sd card from the computer plug it into the raspberry pi and boot it up so let me now uh, move over to the boot screen of the raspberry pi So now once the OS loads, click next. Choose your uh, desired language and uh, again choose next. Over here, uh, please do not uh, choose the setup as a new device. So if you choose the setup as a new option, uh, the setup app will crash and it will keep loading again and again so choose copy your data and then from here uh, choose backup from cloud enter your google id and password okay so if you wish to restore any of these apps uh, you can or else uh, choose don't restore so for time being on your first boot i would suggest you to choose the uh, do not restore option choose next and then again choose next and then choose start okay so as i said earlier i made your uh, 
gaps installation process so simple so now you have the uh, google play store so if you can recall uh, with the aosp build uh, the previous video that i made you wouldn't have been able to install any app from the play store but uh, this one is very stable and so now you can uh, install any app from your play store so let us start with uh, a tv launcher to give our uh, android a tv like feel so i prefer the uh, yugos tv launcher okay so now you can see that uh, the app is downloading and installing okay so in meanwhile uh, let us uh, download and install another app so i have spent a considerable amount of time with this uh, android build i was experimenting with the different uh, media players like the different video players to see as to which worked and which did not so in my test i found out that uh, the mx player uh, didn't play the videos properly but uh, the bs player uh, did a pretty good job so i would suggest you to install a bs player uh, over the mx player so to all those uh, netflix uh, fans out there i have some good news for you so this build does play uh, netflix videos without a hitch i have given the download links uh, for the netflix app uh, in the description of this video you can uh, download it from them or uh, you, if you prefer you can uh, even download it from uh, the apk mirror website so either way so along with the uh, gaps i also sneaked in the uh, lean back version of uh, youtube which means uh, this youtube will have your uh, android uh, tv kind of an outlook so one bad news is uh, not all videos play clean in youtube some do play and some do not so as i said you have the android uh, tv kind of a uh, feel for this uh, youtube so some videos play and some do not okay so so this was this is what happens they play clean sometimes and sometimes they do not uh, this is attributed uh, to the lack of uh, proper graphics on your uh, raspberry pi 3 so after the installation of the yugos tv launcher if you click on the home button you will get an option to choose between the two launchers so here uh, choose the uh, yugos tv launcher or the yugos launcher so this will give you a uh, tv kind of an outlook You can go to the uh, launcher settings and then uh, remove the background or the tile background so that will remove the all the squares uh, behind uh, your icons okay so now you can see that uh, the squares are gone so one uh, major advantage of this particular build is that it is pre-rooted uh, which means you can uh, install apps that require uh, root permissions so in order to enable the uh, root access go into the settings and then just keep scrolling down choose about tablet keep pressing the uh, build number until uh, you become a developer which means uh, your developer settings will be uh, enabled it is okay so once your uh, developer options become visible go into the uh, developer options 
and then just scroll down until you see an option called root or root access choose root access and then enable apps and adb choose okay so after giving the uh, root access or uh, root authorization to the apps i would uh, suggest you to install this application called uh, quick reboot so this application uh, re requires a uh, root access as i said earlier so what this will do is uh, this will enable you to shut down your raspberry pi that is uh, safe shut down your raspberry pi and also this will also give you an option to restart your pi as well reboot or the shutdown button has been installed so before shutting down i'll just quickly demonstrate uh, the netflix playback So as you can see, you have got a Netflix playback in this version of Android. So this is a big bonus when you compare it to the uh, AOSP build. The credit definitely needs to go to constacking.com. Okay, so that is pretty much it guys. You can uh, just play around with this Android build and uh, try experimenting with it. So before you start experimenting, I would suggest you to make a backup of your SD card so that uh, you need not uh, start all the process all over again. After you give the uh, root access, now uh, you can reboot, power off and boot into the recovery and whatnot. So that is pretty much it guys. So I hope that uh, you find this video useful and informative. So thanks for watching. Take care and bye bye.